Hello! Today I'm going to show you basics of animation and keyframing in Color.io. I'm going to start with, by the model that I have. I'm going to go to Rotation and I'm going to create a keyframe for translation. So you can set your keyframes. For example, uh, my current time is zero. And if you click on the label of each parameters in transform plot, for example, I'm going to click on translation. I created a keyframe here. If I move it to frame 20 and uh, let's say I'm going to move this along Y and then you click on the translation, you're going to create keyframes uh, at frame 20. So if you hover on it, you can see the information. You can just continue, go to the uh, frame 14, for example, do some changes, whatever you want, for example, going this way, going that way, and click on it and the third keyframes is created and then you can play it and see the animation is there. So remember that uh, if you right click on the labels of uh, animated, uh, animatable uh, parameters, you can also uh, see other uh, settings, which in this case is clear keyframes. For example, I can click on this and all the keyframes uh, are going to get removed. Remember that uh, the current uh, information is going to be a store, so I'm, I'm going to redo this. Uh, my keyframes is here. I'm going to go back, and then uh, at, at this time, I'm going to remove the keyframes uh, for the mesh. So I'm going to do the rotation the same. You just select this, and you can uh, first I'm going to create a keyframes at, at 0, 0, 0. I'm going to go to 20 and rotate it along uh, x direction. So I click here, I created the keyframes here. I'm going to go here, change it back to zero. Again, click, keyframes is created, and so on. So now I have this animation here. Remember that uh, as long as uh, you, you have the keyframes here, you can select them and drag them so you can move them to whatever time. So if you're not happy with the speed of uh, your animation and you feel it must be faster, you can easily select the keyframes and move them. So this is now something faster. If you need to uh, change the uh, information of the timeline, uh, deselect everything and you have access to plugs for the scene. So you can click on the timeline and change it, for example, from uh, 0 to 100. So your timeline is going to change. And if you need to have a uh, PAL format, which is the, uh, based on the FPS of PAL format or NTSD, or if you need to uh, change the FPS to something else, just select custom and type your uh, favorite uh, custom rates for FPS. Uh, that was the tutorial for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.